your Hollywood Entertainment Reporter right here in Phoenix, Arizona. I am here with the one, the only, the superstar of the world, Mr. Gene Anderson, King of the Hollywood Blues. And welcome. Hey, well, her check's in the mail, because when you said superstar, king of the world, absolutely, she got paid to say that. <laughs> now, we go back so many years ago, Gene, I can probably say 25 or so years ago. Well, that's a little older than me, because I'm only 22, so, but, <laughs> however, I just take the blame. Well, you know, Gene, we go back, and you are just flying these days, and you've got so much going on, but before I start, we had met at the pre Grammys back in Los Angeles with Bonnie Sweeney. Bonnie Sweeney. That was Jane Brown's girl. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I was his entertainment reporter. You know, Mr. Brown opened a lot of doors, and that's how we met. And the great thing is, I remember you getting crowned King of the Hollywood Blues. Ooh. Remember that? Do you have that video anywhere? You I know, can use it. <laughs> I could too. You know, I remember the newspaper clippings that we have. And, and it was amazing. You had the crown, the cape, and everything. It was just yeah, I had a coordination, right? You did. Yeah, KJLH did uh -huh. it, the radio station. Steve Wonder Station did it. Didn't it? Right, right. Yeah, I got ordained by uh, Mayor Mark, he was then Mayor Mark Morial of, the, of uh, New Orleans, of the New Orleans Culture Society, named me King of the Hollywood. That's it. I wore that title up until uh, about a half hour ago. <laughs> but now you have a new title, and your title is You've Got a New Champagne Out. Yes, I do. It's called Gene Anderson, Sparkling Wine of the Stars. If you feel like a star, you drink like a star. Drink right. Gene Anderson, which is, that's my picture. Ain't that's that something? Him. So the police is looking for me. Let's buy a <laughs> bottle of champagne. They know exactly what I look like. No water posters, just shampoo poo. That's what the <laughs> AKA is also known See, as. You know what I thought it was? But, I thought it was, I was getting ready to do my hair, and I thought, oh, he's got a new shampoo line. No. no. And I was thinking it was like a bubbly. It, start, it's, it is bubbly, but what it is, is you know my name is Gene Anderson, AKA Poo Poo Man, and he has what? Champagne. You coordinate them together. It's called Shampoo Poo. Ah. Hey, so you see one, you see two. First name Poo, second name Poo, last name Man, Shampoo Poo, and Poo Poo Man. That's right, Gene, you know, this is phenomenal because you have so many stars from Joe Jackson, Michael's uh, father, as well right, as. Right, I got a lot of stars that's endorsed. That's right. And right, I got guys like Ice Cube, he did it with his first one, the first one. Right. Flavor Flay, uh, Eddie Griffin, uh, it got some movie stars. Quentin Tarantino even endorsed it. Go. I got my guy, Wolfgang Park. Now you know Wolfgang. Right. He endorses it. He's the guy that makes the the, the, uh, Make the, the chocolate count of the, 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 the chocolate um, Oscars. Right. He does the catering for the Oscars. And I also got uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I got uh, uh, George Clinton. I got Bootsy. And I got a lot of other just regular guys and girls that's right. uh, endorsing it. And I got a couple of videos up right. on. I go up on YouTube under Shampoo Poo, C H A M P O O P O O, Shampoo Poo. And you go up on YouTube and push it, bam, you'll see I got some bobbleheads. Bobbleheads? Yeah, <laughs> they're doing the Shampoo Poo. Plus, we got a song, a couple of songs out about it. You know. Right. It's going to be my new endeavor. I'm very excited because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that would maybe like to be reps uh, for this uh, opportunity. And I would like to help market that as we had talked today over breakfast here. We're at the Days Inn. And, uh, you know, I like the Days Inn. And, you know, I worked at one at one time and came on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> on my off days when you're not producing, recording, doing whatever, going, I need to work. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I, I, I like Phoenix. I do too. This is, it's a, the, the weather's fantastic. People are very nice. I know. And uh, yeah, look at the beautiful pool, look at the right. scenery. Scenery. Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know I, did, just, I had to come and see you. And really, I want to help promote this uh, new, uh, actually. Nope. Yes, well, I'm thinking because you said there was something you had to say. Oh, yeah, what, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm really trying to get a national or international distributor for it right. because it's an opportunity for people to be uh, uh, a broker. For right. this, uh, we have our corporate set up where anyone that's affiliated that uh, can somehow be affiliated with us with this product can be able to make money with us. And we like to get some of the proceeds over to some of the foundations that's helpful to mankind, like the Cancer Foundation, AIDS Foundation, and Diabetics, the Diabetes Foundations, and try to get some of the uh, 
proceeds from this because I've been so blessed by having so many opportunities in life that I'd like to be able to give something back. So this product is also uh, in lieu of that issue. And I'd like to, you know, for you out there, you got some people that could be uh, able to help us to, him. Yeah, to, to represent us in this product. Just get in touch with Don Reese Show. We can do that, actually. Yeah. I would love to help promote new people to get out there. If you know uh, a major company like Walmart or Target or any place that you can, you know, sell the champagne. Yeah, we need massive amounts of it sold exactly. because we want to be able to help, help build new hospitals and to put some money in on innovative new medicines and stuff for trying to cure some of these diseases out here. I've been so blessed for as young as I am, 16 for the last time that would allow me. <laughs> we've been blessed. Been blessed to never have had a real serious disease or any real serious illnesses. So I'd like to pass that blessing on to some other people. So this is one of the purposes of having this Gene Anderson Sparkling Wine of the Stars in order to have a commodity that I'll be able to contribute something to mankind as been, mankind has contributed to me and my career. Right, and you can call seven two zero. 309-7117 or email Dawn, D-A-W-N, think of dishwasher liquid, you never forget my name, Reese, R-E-E-S-E, like peanut butter cups? Like Reese's butter cups? Almost. And show at yahoo.com. <laughs> you won't forget my name. <laughs> if I saw that name before. But we'd like to help you get out there and we're going to start putting your infomercials and all of our clips are really excited, Gene, because I'd like to promote that as well. Excellent. Also, I'd like to let you know that this is also uh, associated with our group, I'm involved, as you know, with George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic, P Funk All Stars. I've been with this group from my deep into my second decade, wow. and uh, we also is involved with trying to promote this this product. Go up on YouTube and look at uh, Shampoo Poo Gene Anderson, and you'll see me and George Clinton. We have drank about three bottles of this Shampoo Poo, and let me tell you. We're acting, like. we're acting like it. <laughs> you know, we're definitely acting like it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, all the thing I can say is we want the funk and you want some of this Gene Anderson sparkling wine of the stars, a.k.a. the shampoo pool. That's right. Another time. Now, you say decades. How long have you been with George? What would you say? Like how old? Well, uh, 15, 15, 19 years. I lost track wow. as, a, as associated in this group. I mean, George been friends since 1967. And that's when I was about three, and he was about twenty nine. How did you get? How'd you enjoy? How'd you get? To George, I didn't mean that. <laughs> He's gonna see this. Hi, George. Remember me? You wanted me to be your publicist, and I waited till four in the morning at the hotel. But that's okay. We'll meet again. <laughs> yeah, please believe that. Hey, matter of fact, we're going on tour in October. That's right. And uh, we're going on a European tour as well as domestic tour. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. George uh -huh. got new projects out. He got new artists that he's producing now, and uh, I got new artists I'm producing now, and, and, and we just move right along. And you have 14 CDs Yes, I do have 14 CDs They're of my amazing. own. I have some stuff uh, on that I have with our company, Electric Land Records. Right. I have records out, got about 50 out, I guess, by now. Right. Uh, with, I was with High Records, I was with Atlantic Records, I was with Chess Records, I was with Stats, you know, so done a few things. I was with Red Fox for a long time, right? You did tell me that. You know, <laughs> I, I remember going to see Red Fox, and that was many years ago, but, you know, he gave you a lot of good information and advice. Yeah, well, Red made me have one thing. The better I make you look, the better you make me look. <laughs> and that means the better that we will look. You're right. You know, my cameraman, I want to thank Martin Sandoval. I knew he'd feel like hey, he's living right now because he's got two cameras going. And he's like, John, you owe me because my arm is going to hurt. Are you doing okay? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you start to shake? <laughs> but you know, a lot of people are, I, I help a lot of talent teams. And they want to know if you want me to put money into me and help me market myself and my CDs. Any advice to new singers out there? They don't know what to do, they don't know where to turn to. And you have to invest in yourself, you have to invest in pictures. You know, he's a great photographer for the jobs as well. Fantastic. You know, I mean, martinsendable.com, you've got to check him out because he is the man for headshots in the industry. Uh, but, you know, Advice from your heart to the new talent out there. They want to be like you, and they want to go, how did he do it? How was he discovered? Well, the only thing I can say, God got a big plan in this thing. You know, if you're born for this thing, you don't have an ultimatum. You'll forget the ultimatum as if, if it doesn't happen by Friday, 2.30 in the evening of uh, the 10th of May, 
of I'm through. Right. But if you got that attitude, you guess what? Bye -bye. You're through. <laughs> so it's a way of life. It's, it's, it's balance and peace. And it's only things, two kind of people. First class and no class. So you just play it that way. And not only that, as James Brown used to say, you can't be big and little at the same time. You got to have your aspirations set on what is your desires and what you think that your fulfillment would be to yourself, your commitment to you, involve yourself in this here. And the first thing you need to do is to get your education. Because that's the most important thing of being aware of where your money is going to be associated. Because you can end up making $50 and end up owing 50000 if you don't know what you're doing. Because somebody else has your business, that means it's not your business, it's their business. And you want to be in show business, how your business. So that's one of the few things. And another thing, just believe in yourself, do what you know how to do. And if it's for you, gotta give it to you. I agree. You know, do you meet something, have something we started and I'm about to I kind of do it around the corner here called Be Cool, Stay in School. And we've had Shaq and Ludacris and so many people talking about Be Cool. Stay I did in that school. once. I know you did. I did that once. At the, uh, me and Gary, the diaper board in past. That's right. He did it. And George did it too. Yep, it was yeah, so we did a song on it, didn't we? Well, you were working on something, yes. And, and we, do you have anything off the cuff that you can say maybe the cool stay in school from Gene Anderson, like anything? Yeah. Like a rap or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if don't think I'm funny, better learn how to count your money. Because one thing for sure, somebody would make it go. And it would be out of your pocket into somebody else's pocket. And you would not be in the socket. And you'd be trying to rock it because you would not have no money. And it ain't going to be funny. One thing about being broke, it lasts a long time. <laughs> and we're going to stop and we'll be right back because my cameraman is saying, please, Don, I'd like the Statue of Mr. Liberty. All right. We'll be back. Had a wonderful time, y'all. I got you. to go. I got things to do. Throwing kisses at you. Hey, Mom, from heaven. The boy's still hanging in there. Too. Love you.